on this investigation by Evidence Paranormal. The team searches the historic four-story Morris Mill Hotel in Jefferson County, Missouri. With its long history and impressive list of guests from many years ago, Hear that? could someone from the past still be hanging around these dark corridors? <laughs> we think so. This time out, we're being drawn further west, in our own home state of Missouri. To a place first built in the early 1800s, which would grow from a simple farmhouse into what we know today as... the historic Morse Mill Hotel. Built in 1816 as a farmhouse, while still under Spanish rule, it was eventually purchased in 1856 by industrialist John H. Morse, who added on and made it into the popular spot it was to become. It attracted visitors worldwide, including Jesse James, silent film stars Tom Mix, Clara Bow, who was rumored to have inspired the cartoon character Betty Boop, actor, comedian, and filmmaker Charlie Chaplin, spirit of St. Louis's own pilot, Lucky Lindy, Charles Lindbergh and even Chicago's gangland crime boss, Al Capone. Built from maple and limestone, the building stands proud at four stories tall. In front of the hotel is a hand-carved stone wall built by freed slaves. Limestone is believed to be a conductor or enhancer for electromagnetic energy, something spirits are believed to be composed of. In its day, the hotel attracted many people from other countries as well. Outlaws, actors, businessmen, gangsters, they all stayed here. And before that, it was a private home, a speakeasy, a Confederate hospital, a post office, an underground railroad, Indian burial, halfway house, a brothel, the site of multiple murder scenes, hangings, and several known murderers have been known to have stayed here. One remaining ghostly resident thought to be here is that of a 12-year-old girl that hangs out in this attic. Many previous teams have experienced cold spots up here, even during the hot nights. Photos of apparitions have been captured on stairways, and even some paranormal team members have been scratched. Here, trigger objects are set out for the 12-year-old spirit known as Annabelle. But she is apparently not alone. For even as far down in the basement where the slaves' quarters are located, disembodied voices can be heard. Before her eventual arrest in 1928, one of America's first female serial killers worked here. Bertha Gifford accused of using arsenic to murder 17 people, including children, over a span of 21 years. And with all that history and documented paranormal activity, we decided to bring along some guests and search for our own evidence. Okay, Saturday, July 26th, 8. <laughs> it's probably 27. At 28. Still 826, yeah. 8.26 p.m. Morris Mills Hotel. Uh, wind pods are on. Obelisk is on. Okay. And so we began the investigation. Recording. Mr. Morris, are you here this, with us this evening? 
you make a sound or give us some sign that you might be around? Are any of the little ones with us? We'd love to play games with you this evening too. We have lots of toys here that light up. We have lots of kids toys in the top floor. You can play with those at any time. The outside high temperature that day was 91 degrees, so you can just imagine how hot it was for us. Mary, will you touch the red pot and show them what it does? There'll be a lot of stuff here. Yeah, this is a very easy to device right here. If you just touch it, it'll light up. And if you really get a good grip on it, it'll light up completely. See how fun that is? probably know what K2s are. You've been playing with them the night before. Did you do a lot of fishing in the river? Any spirits in this room with us right now that just want to come forward and maybe trigger one of these devices we have? Just to let us know that somebody's here and we're not alone. here or were you captured here? What was it like when you worked here? When it was a hotel? Or when some of you visited? Nobody need be shy. We're here so that you can be heard. This little device here will help you to say things that we'll actually hear. It. It's a tool for you. Every now and then it was necessary to walk over and check on inactive equipment to make sure it was still powered up. Hmm? What's the matter? We've just been greeted by our first resident. I'm setting it back down, there's a little toe in front of her. Toad. Right over here. Little frog. Was that our sign? And of course, anybody that knows me knows I can't pass up the opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to meet my new friend, Freddy. Got anything you want to say? <laughs> Freddy didn't seem to want to talk very much that night. You can be the mascot here. Why, if I didn't know better, I'd say he was a little hopped up on something. Well, I just decided to leave him alone. Any spirits in this room with us right now that just want to come forward and maybe trigger one of these devices we have? Just to let us know that somebody's here and we're not alone. So much to choose from. There's lights on them, there's alarms. This one, this one. You can talk into this one, you can talk into that one. You can make this light up, all kinds of things. I'll even take your picture. I'll 
take your picture. Stand in front. You ready? Stand in front. I'll take a picture. Here it comes. See? Just then, a question was asked that might have warranted a response. Maybe they don't want to talk to us down here. And if there's someplace else you want us to be, let us know. Wet something up. Are you trapped in a room? Hear that? Yes, yes. How many was that? Sound like two. That's why I heard that. Is it inside or is it across the street? that again so we really can hear it nice and loud. Do you feel heat like we do? Can you knock on a wall? What was it like when you worked here? Hotel. If you need energy, go by one of the little devices that has red lights on it. That'll give you strength. And if you saw that object flash in front of the camera, that was nothing paranormal. If you need energy, go by one of the little devices. With as many insects that were flying around the room that night, that was just a bug flying close to the camera lens. You can even hear the wings flutter as it flies by. If you need energy, go by one of the little devices that has red lights on it. That'll give you strength. Can you touch my arm? Touch my hand? You're welcome to touch my hand. Just then, Mary felt something unusual on her arm. But we eventually pass that off as nothing more than an insect bite. Ghost mosquito. And as time moved on, we occasionally would change the seating arrangement to see if we would get different responses. K2. Can you make any of the K2s over here where I'm pointing? Can you make those light up? No, apparently that's mine. Thank you. Did it light up? Yes, it did. You got it. You're pointing at it. It's fine. Thank you. Very much. It wasn't very long before we started getting the reactions we were looking for. Do you enjoy having company? Can you make one of these K2s light up? Oh, mine's lighting up. Mine's lighting up. Thank you. Good job. Yep. Oh boy. What oh, was that too close? Nope, they're only touching mine. Technically they should be making both light up. If you're in my field. I appreciate that. Thank you for making that light up. Can you tell us more by speaking through the device used earlier? Thank you. Moment. You need, you need a moment to get some energy? You can have a moment. Got all the time in the world. Oh, K2 that again. Nathan. Mine? Mine. What is it? Furniture? Have you had
had your moment. Are you ready to talk to us through the machine? We'd love to hear what you have to say. And as in all paranormal investigations, we began experiencing battery drainage. Since the spirits here are known to have the habit of draining batteries indoors, we kept all the spare batteries outdoors. So out of necessity, Mary walked outside and got us some spare batteries. Where? Unfortunately, she met a spider along the way. And as soon as I changed the camera batteries, we were back in business. Can somebody please say something or yell or bang on something? And apparently Mary's little spider friend left her a gift. I feel like I have a spider rib on me. It could be a real one though. You won't throw it. Over the next few hours, it seemed that they were getting more comfortable with using our devices to communicate with. Saturn. That's interesting. Saturn. I don't even know how to connect right. that with anything. Is that your favorite planet? Is one of us driving a Saturn out there? What about Saturn? Can you tell us more? Occasionally, there'd be periods where we would get word after word thrown at us. And then again, there would be periods where we got very few. Automatic. Get down here. It is pretty automatic. As always in paranormal investigating, you sit in silence and wait for the next response. Can you make my K2 light up? Please? Oh, they're all lighting up over here. <laughs> you can make the other two light up too. Uh oh. Look at you go. Good job. What are you doing? Oh, light up. 15, how many people are with us? And... <laughs> can you make that millimeter over there, that REM pod in the doorway? Can you touch that? Once in a while, they would respond through more than one instrument. What was your favorite thing to eat at this restaurant? Apparently the K2's going off right in front of you, too. It is. Yeah. Do you know my name? Someone's revealing. I dare you to say my name. Yeah. <laughs> switch to phonetic mode. <laughs> After about an hour, Mary and Amber moved to the slaves' quarters where they spent about 30 minutes performing an EVP session in front of an infrared camera. There's a little machine on this chair that you can use for power. Use that for energy so you can speak to us through the other devices. Were you sent under the underground? Is that where you're trying the underground railroad? We know of that. If 
there's anybody here, you don't have to worry. You can speak to us. I realize the color of our skin might scare you, but we're not like the people you have to deal with. Can you light up one of those devices down there, if you heard me? Please. How long were you kept in here? Did you pass away in here? If you did pass away in here, I'm so sorry. But this is your chance to be heard. Nobody's going to hurt you. What they were unaware of is that they were in the company of spirits. Spirits who were reaching out. Can you give us any sign of your presence? They tried many questions, not knowing if there was anything there or not listening. Time was beginning to pass and their efforts seemed worthless. So they grabbed their equipment and respectfully vacated the room. But it wasn't until we reviewed the footage that we discovered their efforts were successful. With every member accounted for two rooms over, we knew these voices caught by the camera were the real thing. Tell us something about yourself. That's why we're here, to learn more about you. What was about to happen, we did not expect. Tell me your favorite pie. And was to last over two minutes. Thank you. Good job. Very good. Look how strong you are. Can you light them all up? What? Plus you both. Placebo. Are you kidding me? Nope, it's doing it again. Look at you go. Okay, don't block that camera. I'm getting the same thing from feeling again. Are you reading my mind? Tell me the pie. I feel you. That's cool. I, 
I got no problem with that. My whole body's tingling. I like it. That's fine. It's almost a tickle. But get in there and read my mind. Tell me what kind of pie. <laughs> Keep going. I feel you again. Can you can you read it? Can you read it? So cool. Mm-hmm. So cool. The energy changes yeah. when that thing lights up. I can feel the field. Do you like all those colors? That's awesome. You're That's pretty cool. strong. Huh? Make sure you do it. I am. It just says something. Amount. Amount. Amount of energy. Look at you go. Yep, you're making a lot of amount. That's cool. You can make more colors even if you use everything you got. There's lots of different colors there. Those. Keep going. Good yeah, job. Right. You are so impressing us. That's cool. You just made some friends. Do you like all those noises? Yeah. <laughs> Foliage, like foliage. Trees and bushes out there. Flowers. Yep. Can you, Can you the stop that, please? Climb the tree? No, don't stop it. Keep going. Can you want to switch? Really, really strong. It's pretty wild. That's good. Can you feel that? Sitting on that thing? Are you? <laughs> Are you sitting there? Yeah. Is this thing leaning on it? It's not touching it. Okay. it, it it's got to be something. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. All right. You can scary? keep going Did if you scary want. When he poked the other one at you. He had a kind of a scary red light that came around, didn't he? That's awesome. Good job. What are you saying now? Company. Yep. Yep, you got company. That's who we are. I hope we're good company. You're good company. Are you still here? Is anybody still here? We still like hanging out with you. I'm going to go grab another device. If I'm going to run into somebody on the way to get my other device, will you light up right now? Yep. What color did it get you? It went up three lights. Thank you. Go get your energy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to run into somebody in the way. Right. Mm -hmm. He let you know at least. Shining lights through the cracks on the floor. Yeah, we experiment. Like you guys are up there. Oh. Yeah, it's you like see lots of. Worlds of like, yeah, we'll get different angles. Oh. Travel. He, he is traveling. He's moving. He's going upstairs. He's coming back though. He's gonna get a different device for you to play with. Could the spirit have been referring to me traveling upstairs? Your K2 is lighting up. Mine? Yeah. Caught the brunt end of it. There it yeah, is. Going through that, so yeah. oh. Thanks for coming back. We've missed you. During another short moment where I gathered more equipment to distribute, a very important word came through the second obelisk. A word that would have significance to the history of the house. Followed by more words which would validate and clarify just who we might be talking to. Beat. 
beat? Yeah. Beat is in B E A T. Oh, great. Could somebody beat you? Just then, a sad possibility came over me. Oh my god, is this, is this one of the slaves? I'm gonna go in your slaves' quarters with just a K2. If, if, if it's one of you, light me up back in that room. In his efforts to gather evidence, Tom placed his K2 in several different locations of the room. Did you sleep here with hay or something or straw or lemons? Despite his efforts, nothing seemed to respond. Alright, maybe it's not true. Sure. We're heading back then. But let us not forget, this is only the basement to the house. There are, in fact, several other floors left uninvestigated by our team. But if there really was anyone there with us, we could only hope that they would follow us upstairs. Time was quickly passing and it was getting late. It was quite obvious we were each getting very tired. The heat itself was apparently taking a heavy toll on us. And so we gathered and carried whatever equipment we could and we moved to the next floor. We decided to travel and stop outside the doorway of a room occupied by the ghost of a prostitute named Vi. Electric. Electric. And we were welcomed with activity up there as well. Are we in your space? Mm -hmm. Sorry, Spud. We're not up in the line, so it's coming. Is that you? Thanks for having us for company. Several different types of sensory equipment was placed in various locations on the floor, all in the efforts to try to capture evidence. Okay. Actually, Tom, she was telling us that um, that she doesn't really like men. You might ask your oh, I'm in her room and I changed her out. Uh, I didn't leave with a dollar like her husband did. Did you put a dollar down? I did not. But I won't get in a room and I'll crawl out of the room. Careful. And we were very fortunate that even up there, someone spoke to us. Can you hold your fingers on that? Hold it solid. Pinch it. 
No, don't do that. Pinch it, please. What was the prostitute's name? Vi. Are you here, Vi? Oh, it oh. said something. Are you climbing that tree again? Say something else. What's my name? Are you stuck in this space? We were pretty amazed that even on that floor, we were getting hits on the obelisk. White. Good job. There you go. There you go. I was curious with my stepping backwards. Even though I didn't feel a cold spot, Sorry. you're doing good. Could I be standing in someone's space? Am I standing in your spot? Do you think that light is white? Can you not see colors? Do you want me to back up? Anybody that knows me knows that I have total respect in ghosts, spirits, whatever you want to call them. I do not want to make them mad. Just like downstairs, over a period of several minutes we were beginning to get random words. Can you hold that green or that thing down and make it go a long buzz with the green light? Reverend? You're getting religious with the Bible stuff. Say, yeah. Is this a reverend here? Is there a reverend here? Okay, apparently. Oh. Since he's stuck for a while. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go in your room. Was a reverend a friend of yours? Mary decided to walk into Vi's room to test to see if she was really there. Hello. Hey there. And apparently, she was. Hello, Mary in there. Go by the couch again. Knowing there's the confirmed spirit of a little girl in the building, I decided to ask if she was present. Is this a little kid? But considering what came next, I have a feeling it was Vi. Do it again. Oh. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Remember, Vi was a prostitute. Kiss? You, Vi? Uh... I don't know who you're talking about, but... <laughs> But again, time was passing, and we had to push on. There was a piano room to explore, and an attic. Gathering up our equipment, we moved on to the opposite end of the building. There, in the dark, we would find an old piano. And with luck, Tom's daughter Jamie just so happened to know 
how to play. Me? Yeah. Hey, you know, you're the one knows how to play. After I staged a few sensory devices, Jamie sat down and prepared to play a song. All of it in the effort to try to stir an emotional response from any spirits present. And now all we could do is sit and wait and listen. Even with all our instrumentation, we couldn't tell if we were alone. Therefore, it was decided that we gather all our stuff and we move to the attic for the final session of this investigation. The room with the spirit of the 12 year old girl, Annabelle. With no luck in the piano room, we moved upstairs to the attic. After we climbed the creaky staircase, we entered the room where there have been claims of the spirit of a 12-year-old girl residing there still, named Annabelle. Once up there, you'll see toys scattered across the floor for her to play with. Carefully placed tape around the base of this ball was put there in the effort to detect whether or not Annabelle has moved it. Here the girls are trying to motivate the spirit of the little girl to come out and play. Can you do that? Come on, give it a big push. Communicate with us before we leave. Roll it back. Do it. Roll Hit. it right back to her. I bet you're a big girl. You can do that. Come on, Annabelle. there you can do do something to Annabelle. It's all like big toys. There's something clicking over here. Okay. Probably the machine gun is laying out. Okay. Just making sure. I heard it clear. Okay. Probably the machine gun is laying out its back or something. Do you want us to leave? If you want us to leave, light that up. Green. Yeah, if you touch that thing, like Nathan's going to do here, and he'll show you green. 
Watch this. Green. Not even touching it. So you really don't have to do anything. Stay close to it and look at it. There's an invisible field around that. If you touch that, it'll do it for you too. Sure will. And if you really get close to it, all of those pretty lights will be lighting up. Give it a shot. Hurry up. Come on. Oh, hi, Annabelle. I got up to red right here. She went up to red. There you go. Play with the green Don't light. be shy. Come on. Come on over, sweetie. Where'd you go? Are you finally okay. going to come over and play? What do you want to play? There's a lot of pretty lights on the floor. Are you hiding behind me? We want you to play. That's why we brought this stuff up here for you to play with. Apparently, we were in the presence of someone who saw my demonstration of the REM pod. With the Opalus being a very useful device, what we needed now was a direct response to one of our questions on the REM pod. Say goodbye, please. Yes, we're human. What are you? What are you? As in most paranormal investigations, you never get a definitive answer. We're gonna get going. Sometimes you can get a hundred responses on the obelisk, and never be able to connect them to any of your questions. We'd like to say goodbye. And sometimes everything you get the entire evening could be mere residual. One that only repeats itself at a specific time. Confident that we put enough effort into it, we decided it was time to close up. With each of us carrying an armful of equipment, we began our journey back to the basement. Descending from one floor to the next, we gathered up everything we left behind. And I also couldn't help but wonder, did we connect with John Morse? Bertha Gifford? Any of the poor souls that were murdered here? The spirits of the slaves? Or maybe even the spirit of Annabelle? Investigating has become a passion of mine, something I enjoy and I love to do. We never go in provoking. We're not looking for trouble. We're only looking for the simple evidence. We're not trying to change the world. More than likely, they'll cure the common cold before they can prove that spirits or ghosts really exist. When I was younger, I too was a horror movie fanatic, but I didn't believe. And now that I've seen things that changed my mind, I'm joined by others who are also in the same search for evidence. When our visit was over, I couldn't help but be excited knowing of the renovations to make it into a bed and breakfast. But I also couldn't help but wonder, will the known spirits there move on unhappy with the changes to the building? Or will they remain and welcome the next group of residents and guests into their home? I guess we'll just have to wait and see.
down. 